Hey guys, Django also offers one nice thing which is template inheritance. It means we can use same parts of the HTML for different pages across the website. Template helps when we want to use the same information in more than one place. We don't have to repeat ourselves in every file in the, which is in the templates. Duh. Like we did by copying all the contents of the post list.html into the post detail.html. Uh, like the head, the bootstrap CDN, the body itself, and the div class. So we don't need to do anything like this while while using template inheritance. Suppose if our website is large enough and has many HTML files, and you want to change something, you don't have to do it in every template. In fact, you can just do the changes in only one template. So to use the concept of template inheritance, we'll create a base.html template file that can be extended on every page of our website. So let's create a base.html template. And copy everything that is inside the post list.html to the base.html. Now just replace the contents inside container fluid just cut it and we need to you paste in the post list.html and replace it with curly braces and curly braces inside that we need uh, double percentage size and write block content here and we need to end this block as well You can use any keyword that uh, according to your need it will use I, I will use content here you can use body or any possible name uh, you like it is another built-in tag that can be overridden by child templates the parent template is now the base.html template and uh, the child template is a template which inherits this template okay and now empty the post list.html file and paste the copied content we copied in a base.html file like this which is div class row uh, and the for loop up to this and inside the built-in template tag which is percentage percentage block content that uh, the variable the the tag we have used here it can be replaced by this content into the post list.html and uh, we need to end this content here and block will it work now no it will not work until we inherit or extend the base template in post list.html to make this file a child template see base.html is now the parent template and if we extend the base.html template into the post list.html we can say post list.html is now be able to now use extends which is under the blog and we'll use base.html it is now the child template just refresh the post list uh, just refresh the server and yes it is uh, the server is being refreshed and if we uh, refresh the browser it should work and it is working just fine uh, otherwise it will give error if this base.html will not work see one more thing uh, this extend built-in template tag extends the base.html template and should be in the uh, very beginning of the child template or the file or the HTML file we'll now do the same thing with our post detail page open the post dot post detail page and uh, we don't need the the content above the container fluid and we don't need the body and all these things excuse me and we need to use the block content here as well to make it template to be replaced in the base.html file and need to end, end it and the content block content we need to import the or extend the 
base template like this extends blog base dot html now we have two child templates and one parent template as usual parent is only one and the child's can be multiple and we can see if this is working as well by refreshing this browser and check if post is post detail view is also working yes it is working so we have used the concept of template inheritance also there is one thing left here is a blog which is a blog dot super so if you need to get the content of the blog from the parent template uh, blog dot super context variable will do the trick for you for example uh, we write inside the title of the base template uh, open up the base dot html and inside the template we'll write uh, write uh, the av's blog we need to use the block here as well to make it available in the child template like this and we need to write and this curly bracket and use block and title we'll use title here and uh, you can name anything according to the need and we need to end it here as well and block So in the post detail dot html we write post detail dot html we will write block title anywhere it will replace it will uh, re be replaced in the block title of the page dot html need to end the block as well And inside that block title, we'll use post dot title context variable from the post uh, detail view, and we'll use block. Excuse me. Inside the context variable, block dot super. If we refresh the browser and say it is now showing AV's blog, and uh, if we click on the post detail view we will have my new post one slash avs blog c avs blog is coming from blog dot super which is inside the block title the content inside the block title uh, we can do the same thing with the post list here post list dot html if you go back to the item text editor inside the post list dot html we'll use the same block title just copy and paste it and we need to change here we can use uh, at the end of the uh, file because the content should be replaced or it can be achieved by using the block title it will search for the block title and the content of the of the block title will get replaced by this so we'll use block um, we'll use welcome to welcome to uh, instead of using this we just write block dot super which is the avs blog see we refresh the browser we'll now have welcome to avs blog is working inside the post list view no matter where it is written we'll for good reference we'll use above the or after the extends built-in tag so if it is good all working so we have covered template inheritance concept and how to use block.super so see you in the next video lecture guys bye bye